I'm back. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like disappeared again. <laughs> I'm such a mess. But if you guys want to see how I got this, this is not a good look. I don't like it. It's not, I'm not a fan of it. Just wanted to put that out there. I've looked better. Um, but if you guys want to chat with me and hear what's been going on in my life and yeah, uh, this is a video for you. Love ya. Keep watching. I don't know. I don't know how to do this anymore. I haven't done it in so long. I kind of just forget. I was just filming me doing my foundation and then my camera was like, um, you only have like one gigabyte left. And I was like, isn't this a 32 gigabyte memory card? And I don't know how, but there was like 27 gigabytes used. And I was like, I deleted everything though. What? Anyways, hello people. I guess I'm doing this all over again. Today we are doing a get ready with me and this is my first video in a long time and I owe a lot of you an explanation. So um, in July, I'm positive it was July, I uploaded a video talking about how I'm getting sex reassignment surgery and I got my surgery, everything went amazing, I could not be happier with the results, recovery was pretty quick and Actually, I'm going to talk about that in this video and maybe another one just completely dedicated to my recovery. But um, I'm really excited because it was like amazing. It was one of the best experiences of my life by far. And I'm ready to get back into the swing of things. And I know I say that every single time, but I actually mean it this time. So I'm just going to set my face. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana bronzer. This is not a bronzer. This is a damn white. But I'm just gonna use this to set my under eyes because um, it has some like reflex in it that make it look very nice on the skin, but it doesn't make you look, you know, like too matte. And I'm only really gonna set my under eyes and like my T-zone just because I want to keep the glow, if you know, the glow, if you know, way, hey. <laughs> yeah, I got my surgery in August, August 23rd, 2017, to be prepared. To be precise we can't talk today apparently I did document a lot of it um, a lot of the big moments I did document and I have like full footage that I could release but I just don't know it got really hard when I came back to my house after you know leaving the recovery home because that was definitely a place where the pain was a lot better which was weird because that was right after surgery and you would think right after surgery is when you would be in the most pain and I really wasn't in that much pain. Um, the most pain I was in was when I got back to my house because they didn't give me anti-inflammatory medication. And this is the one thing I will say about the surgery is that the pain that you experience <clears throat> is not internal, it's external. It's the swelling. And the swelling was unbearable. It was horrible. I honestly hated it so much. It, it just, it hurt. It was, it wasn't a good time at all. And let's go into some cream blush. So I did document the recovery process and I do have videos, um, that I could, you know, put together and really talk about it in depth. If you guys want me to, I'm taking the Joe Fresh, uh, cream blush in radiant rosette. I love this one and I'm just going to pop this right here just to add some color back into my skin. Um, so, aside from surgery, which I know a lot of you want me to keep talking about, but if you want another video dedicated to my surgery and recovery and stuff, just leave a comment down below and tell me what you want me to talk about and I'm more than happy to do it. So I do have a job uh, and I love my job. It's honestly... I found something I'm really passionate about and it's skincare, it's beauty, and it's makeup. And that's really what I want to bring to um, this channel. I want to bring my love and knowledge of beauty because it's something that I've really found um, passion in. I think that's where this channel is going to go, is into beauty. I'm taking the Annabelle... Um, what is this? I don't know. It's it's not like a blush stick. 
This is a cream highlight. This is beautiful, and I'm just gonna set this down as a base for the highlight that I'm going to be using. Um, so yeah, my recovery went well, and then I was, you know, thinking to myself, where is this channel gonna be going? And that's what I did for a lot of my recovery was I was thinking, what am I gonna do with this YouTube channel that I have that I have definitely neglected multiple times, might I add, I have neglected this channel a lot. And what I realized is that I can merge my love of beauty with my passion for, um, you know, like educating people and sharing my story. And I think that there's a big part of the community that is post-op and they don't really know like what it's like. And especially for people who are getting the surgery, it's kind of like, do we even talk about what happens afterwards, you know, recovery and dilation and navigating into everyday life again. And I think there's a big discussion there that needs to be, you know, had. So I'm more than happy to do it. I'm going to be taking the Lise Watier um, Holiday Collection Highlight Palette and I'm going to be taking this shade right here, the gold one. I don't know if it has a name. I think it does, but I threw out the package. Um, gosh, this is a beautiful highlight palette and it just looks stunning on the skin. Um, And I'm just going to take this and kind of strobe. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to talk about was where this channel is going to be going. And I definitely am excited about it because I love it. I love doing beauty. And I think that, I mean, I do my makeup every freaking day, especially when I'm going to work. So I don't really have an excuse. Um, but I wanted to also kind of like re- incorporate the trans discussion into my channel again because I don't really have you know I don't really care to talk about hormones anymore I don't really care to talk about like all this other stuff I want to talk about dilation and I want to talk about you know um you know misconceptions about post-operative um complications and things like that because it's definitely something that needs to be talked about especially there's a lot of misconceptions about you know how like trans women cut 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 their penises off and so many people have been like did you get your dick in a jar and I'm like no what the hell if there's a discussion that needs to be had I'm here for it um I'm gonna start my eyeshadow so I'm gonna take the illuminate by Ashley um beach goddess palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade this is Cabo and seashells I'm gonna take that in my crease so yeah that's definitely one thing that I wanted to start talking about more I don't like this brush actually never mind so that's one thing that I wanted to talk about is you know post-op life and I think it's something that a lot of people are interested in because they don't really they're not really that educated they know there's a surgery but they don't really know what's involved and they don't know you know how things work after and a lot of people are like can you pee like obviously I can pee what like is that really a question but, you know, if people are curious, I'm here to answer. And that's definitely what's going to be coming. That's what I plan on focusing my channel on. But I definitely also want to bring beauty into it. Because I think there's a big lack of, like, real, um, I don't even know how to say it without, you know, upsetting someone. But basically, Instagram makeup, I cannot stand. I think it's just, I don't know, it's annoying and... I'm really into the makeup from, you know, the the pros like Lisa Eldridge, Wayne Goss, um, you know, celebrity makeup artists who have pioneered, you know, the way that makeup is today. And I think that something that a lot of people forget is like, I, th I think obviously everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but I think makeup it should be about enhancing your own beauty and I mean you can do a lot with makeup you can enhance so many things with makeup and it's also an art form where you can transform and you can change and I totally respect that but I think that there's so many people who who use makeup and they're insecure about it because it, it you I mean personally for me I am not as secure without makeup as I am with it on so I'm learning to adapt techniques into my makeup routine that enhance my natural features 
but still make me feel beautiful and comfortable. I'm taking the Pure and Etienne, oh, I was like, where are we going? The Pure and Etienne palette. Um, this is amazing, beautiful pigments, and what I like is that they're buildable. I'm not really into shadows that are like, bam, off the bat pigment, because I just find that they can get a little messy, but um, I'm gonna take the shade 1998, and I'm gonna pack this in the um, in the crease just to add some more depth because your girl likes the depth in the crease. I mean, that's how I feel about beauty and I think that there's so many people on YouTube that are amazingly talented, but I just can't relate to them when I watch them. I'm like, you mean your half cut crease is beautiful, but like, I'm not wearing that. <laughs> so, I mean, I could do a half cut crease if I really wanted to, but I prefer to do like an easy bronze smoky eye. Which is what I'm doing today. Oh my god, what shows have you guys been into? Everyone is watching Riverdale and I'm just like, I don't know, I want to wait for the season to be finished so that I can just binge watch it. I don't know, I do that. I don't like to wait for shows, so that's why I skipped out on the Vampire Diaries until it was on Netflix and like got cancelled. Truly, it's true. Um, I'm going to take the shade Faux from this palette and kind of wiggle this into the middle of my crease just because I don't want to focus a lot of the depth on the outer corners. Um, personal preference, I just like the way it kind of sets my eye in there. Really taking your time blending because blending is very important, darling. Oh my god, so I am obsessed with this girl on YouTube. Her name is like AJ2 or I don't I don't even know. AJ2, I think. She does music video reviews and like album reviews and whenever I'm like sad, I just watch her review of Lord's album Melodrama. I, if you have any time, Go watch the video. It will change your life. She is so extra. I love it. She calls her Lord with an E because she's like, because you're so damn extra. I've also been really into like Alana Davis. Her makeup videos are awesome. I'm a huge fan of her. And like um, Estee Lalonde. Oh my God. I'm obsessed with her. I remember when I was growing my hair out, I, she was my inspiration for like short hair. She can rock it. YouTube is kind of getting boring for me like watching YouTube videos. I know a lot of people love it, but I just find it so hard to actually find someone that I can stick to and like watch their videos, but there are the few who I actually can. Like a Manny MUA video, I'm so, I just can't. I can't watch them, I get bored. Like extremely bored. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the color faux and take this on my lower lash line. I don't even know why I bother with my lower lash line. It hates me. We just don't get along. Every time I try and do something on my lower lash line, I end up looking busted and like I can't do makeup at all. But I guess that's the price you pay, right? And I'm just going to take this brush again and kind of try and soften it out and blend it a bit if it wants to. Probably just going to make me look like I haven't, you know, used eye cream in 25,000 years. So now I'm just going to connect the, like, oh, you know what? We need to bring the lighting up. Just a tad bit. No, up. I was like, I'm sorry, I need to bring the lighting up. It's just looking a little crazy. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna work on this blend right here because it's kind of looking a little rough. She needs some attention there, darling. Oh my God, so I went to see Lady Gaga in Montreal with um, my best friend Sophie and we met amazing people there and I met Santiago and Maria and oh my God, are they the cutest things ever? Literally adorable. And um, Gaga read Santiago's letter and he was fucking shook. I was like, what? And then she came down and she like hugged him and Maria and she was like right in front of me. And I was like, what? <laughs> like there's a video. And if you see me in the video, I'm just like, what? <laughs> I was so shook. I was like, is this really happening? So now I'm gonna do something with my lid. I'm not sure, I might. No, I'm not sure what the lid wants. The lid wants what it wants. There. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the shade Zenon. Where is the thing? Here we go. Well, whatever. I'll just I'll insert a clip. Oh my god, shit, that's fallouty. Oh yes. 
Oh yes, it's a huge mess. Okay, that's what I wanted. Something like this. Oh yes, this is stunning. Oh, do you see that? That like, it's almost kind of like a gray silver. I'm into it. I'm into this look. This is this is cute. This is real cute. Do you think I need a little bit more? Wait. Do you think I need like a tiny? Okay. Wow. <laughs> I look busted now. I think I need to like clean right here and add. Wow. No. 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 It's not, but it's not even better. I mean, I, my eyes still look terrible. I swear, they look better in real life. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they actually just look like shit. Okay, I know this looks like Raiden Quinn or whatever the fuck, but I can, I swear I can do makeup. I don't care. I mean, I think I look kind of cute. I look kind of nice. So, let's see. The grand reveal. Yeah, I still look kind of manly. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Fuck my life. I mean, do I look- I look okay, right? Kind of? Not really. I don't know what else I can do to make this look more feminine, but I'm gonna try to, like, go like that, maybe? Go on. I don't want to get facial feminization surgery. I'm too broke. I don't even know anymore. Fuck it. We're just beautiful trannies with manly problems. Yeah. Peace, love, and vaginas. I don't know. I mean, that's what a lot of this video is about. Oh, I don't like this look at all. Hmm.